What is up guys, my name is Wawa and I am back and in this video I will be talking about my week 6 marathon training and how it actually went. So this week's training plan had me running a total of 16 miles and that is I think the highest mileage so far in a week for the marathon training plan that I'm following. And I know 16 miles isn't a lot, but it was actually one of the harder weeks that I ever had to train in so far in this plan. For those who don't know, I am currently following a training plan that was made by a fellow YouTuber by the name of Ben Parks. If you guys don't know him, he is an awesome, amazing, and fast runner. And he makes a lot of really good content on his YouTube channel. So definitely check him out. He has a lot of cool stuff there if you're into running. So my first run this week included some strides. I started off with 4 miles of easy pace and then it transitioned into 4 20 second strides with 20 to 45 second break in between. For those who haven't seen my week 1 to week 5 uh, vlog video so far, definitely check it out somewhere somewhere here. I did mention in that video that I actually struggled a bit during my week 4 and week 5. Well, struggling a bit is like kind of making it small. I caught COVID <laughs> during week four and week five and that's that. I couldn't really do much. I had to isolate. I had to do a full recovery because I wasn't really feeling well for most of it. And yeah, no training was done for week four and week five. So technically, the first run this week was my first run after two weeks of no running and after just having COVID. And I gotta tell you guys, it was very rough. Definitely one of the harder runs I've ever had to run, ever. And I didn't even realize it at first, but it was actually very hot and humid that day. Like, I knew it was gonna be hot, so I woke up fairly early that day trying to avoid the heat, but the temperature just went up so fast that day that I didn't even realize that it was like very humid until like midway through my run. And that day actually ended up being one of the hotter days ever so far this season. At certain points of my runs, I was actually feeling very scared. I started feeling chest pains uh, during the second mile of my run. And I was very worried that I actually gained like lung issues because of COVID and that would suck because I'm a runner and I like running. I really thought of um, cutting my run short during that day multiple times because it was just very scary. I've never felt that before. But in the end, I'm actually glad that I pushed through and finished my menu and it worked out that day at least. I was really happy that I completed my run that day. Um, it could have gone both ways. I could have like not complete my run. I could have collapsed face first because of my chest pains. Like things could have gone a lot worse. And I did gamble a little bit because you know safety. Like it's like all up in the air at that moment. But yeah, the gamble paid off I guess for this time. And I'm glad it did because I can still make YouTube videos like this. <laughs> the second run was just a simple three mile easy pace run very standard very simple nothing too crazy but this run was actually kind of unique in that it was actually raining that day which was very nice that was actually the first run i had when it was raining during this training plan it, was, it felt very very cool it was a day after a string of multiple very hot days very hot weeks and this rain actually brought some cool weather with it and that was actually very very awesome and that cool weather actually stuck around for a few days and it actually still is here right now. The rain was just the perfect amount. It wasn't raining too hard, it didn't rain too soft. It was just the perfect amount to make the run just much better. The third run I did this week was during the New York City Summer Streets event and I actually made another video about it. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely do. Basically, the run was very fun. It was a 9 mile long run, 3 miles easy pace, and then 3 miles marathon pace, and then wrapping it up with another 3 mile easy pace. I couldn't really stay on the paces that I needed to do during that run because there was a lot of stopping like in the middle because of like 
the cops need to let the vehicles pass through across the intersection so I couldn't really stick to the schedule but overall I think I still think it was a very productive run um, I figured out that I'm, I'm actually good or I'm okay with running nine miles very solidly and that was that was nice to know anyways that is it for this video thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate you being here today the next video should be about my week 7 training blog and there should be a lot of fun stuff there as well. Anyways, that's it. Hope to see you guys soon. Peace out. I am out. Bye.